हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द माइंड मैप प्रोग्राम टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज डिजिटल एंड क्रिप्टो करेंसी सो वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज क्रिप्टो करेंसी डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिजिटल करेंसी एंड क्रिप्टो करेंसी व्हाट इज ब्लॉक चेन टेक्नोलॉजी हाउ डज क्रिप्टो करेंसी वर्क एंड इट्स एग्जाम्पल्स बेनिफिट्स ऑफ क्रिप्टो करेंसी डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड चैलेंजेस विद क्रिप्टो करेंसी एंड वे फॉरवर्ड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस व्हाट इज क्रिप्टो करेंसी In simple terms cryptocurrency is decentralized money free from any government or central bank's chains it relies on blockchain technology and uses cryptography to secure transactions done by people making it impossible to counterfeit the purpose behind the creation of bitcoin was to help people send money over the internet it is a digital currency an alternate payment system free from any control that works exactly like traditional currencies to better understand cryptocurrency you must know about the three terminologies blockchain decentralization and cryptography now difference between digital currency and cryptocurrency a central bank has the ability to ensure that a digital currency it issues exhibits the three main features of money that is a cbdc could function as a widely accepted means of payment store of value and unit of account because it is issued by a central bank a cbdc would have legal tender status making it widely accepted as a means of payment a cbdc would also be an equivalent store of value to other forms of money the unit of account for cbdc issued by the reserve bank of india would be rupee the rbi launched the central bank digital currency that is cbdc digital rupee or e rupee for the common man in december now let's discuss what is blockchain technology blockchain in cryptocurrency is a digital ledger whose access is distributed between authorized users and records transactions the information and access are shared among the registered users so anything the blockchain record is transparent and immutable the information cannot be tampered with or hacked not even by the administrator decentralization makes cryptocurrencies independent at the same time the centralized money we use is monitored and managed by the rbi in india cryptography in cryptocurrency means secret writing which means the recipient can only read messages it takes care of the transactions protects operational autonomy fortifies the entire chain Now let's understand how does cryptocurrency work and its examples. Cryptocurrencies run on a distributed public ledger called blockchain. It is a record of all transactions updated and held by currency holders. Units of cryptocurrency are created through a process called mining. It involves using computer power to solve complicated mathematical problems that generate coins. Users can also buy the currencies from brokers then store and spend them using cryptographic wallets. If you own cryptocurrency you don't own anything tangible. What you own is a key that allows you to move a record or a unit of measure from one person to another without a third party. Examples are Bitcoin. Founded in 2009 Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency and is still the most commonly traded. Ethereum developed in 2015 Ethereum is a blockchain platform with its own cryptocurrency called Ether or Ethereum Litecoin this currency is most similar to Bitcoin but has moved more quickly to develop new innovations including faster payments and processes to allow more transactions and Ripple Ripple is a distributed ledger system that was founded in 2012. Ripple can be used to track different kinds of transactions, not just cryptocurrency. Benefits of cryptocurrency: It provides anonymity. It cannot be traced. It works on blockchain technology. Data remains accessible only to the users of the network and it is heavily secured. Cryptocurrencies are way cheaper to use to execute international transactions. There is a limited supply of cryptocurrency partially like gold due to the high demand for cryptocurrency its prices have largely remained on a growing trajectory in this scenario people tend to hold more cryptocurrency than spending it causing deflationary effect now moving on to disadvantages and challenges of cryptocurrency it is highly volatile as it does not have regulation framework blockchains may help trace the transactions but not the parties involved 
hence it could potentially be used for money laundering terrorist financing and other illegal activities some cryptocurrencies are more private than others bitcoin is not that private since the forensic analysis of the bitcoin blockchain has helped authorities arrest and prosecute criminals more privacy oriented coins do exist however such as dash monero or zcash which are far more difficult to trace private digital currencies have gained popularity in india in past few years or so the virtual currencies don't have any intrinsic value and are not backed by any kind of assets there is a real and heightened risk of investment bubble of the type seen in ponzi schemes which can result in sudden and prolonged crash exposing investors vcs are stored in digital electronic format making them vulnerable to hacking loss of password malware attack etc and lack of financial and digital awareness in india now lastly let's discuss about the way forward cryptocurrencies should be explicitly defined as securities or other financial instruments under the relevant national laws crypto asset regulation is still in its infancy in many emerging and developing economies like india few countries have allowed cryptocurrency transaction israel in its supervision of financial services law includes virtual currencies in the definition of financial assets the israel tax authority defines cryptocurrency as an asset and demands 25% on capital gains RBI has launched CBDC digital currency but it will not attract investor as against the features of bitcoin virtual currencies and its underlying technology are still evolving it should be regulated and the advantage should be reaped from the evolving technologies in 2022 the government of india clearly mentioned in the union budget 2022-23 that the transfer of any virtual currency or cryptocurrency asset will be subject to 30% tax deduction now moving on to the practice questions first of all note down the prelims based question with reference to blockchain technology consider the following statements one it is a public ledger that everyone can inspect but which no single user controls to the structure and design of blockchain is such that all the data in it are about cryptocurrency only three applications that depend on basic features of blockchain can be developed without anybody's permission which of the statements given above is or are correct one only one and two only two only or one and three only and now mains question what do you understand by cryptocurrencies can it be beneficial in indian context discuss so that's all for today stay tuned for the next episode thanks for watching